And tonight we're learning more about the man who was killed overnight in Norfolk. We first brought you this as breaking news last night at 11. Authorities got the call to Ballantyne Boulevard near Ingleside Road around 1045. When police got there, they found a man shot multiple times. He died at the scene. Police are waiting to officially release the victim's name. Earlier tonight, Tenerife Tamara Scott spoke with those who knew him. I can't even think of how I felt like just thinking that this isn't supposed to happen to somebody like him. This is somebody that's supposed to grow old and see his kids grow old. A friend of the victim who asked to not be identified says the loss of a loved one can be hard, but because this was so out of the blue, it's worse. Everybody is distraught because, like I said, this he, he didn't bother anybody. He wasn't into it with anybody, so it's just kind of like a shock to everybody that knows him because everybody know he didn't bother anybody to, to be taken away like this. Police responded to the 2600 block of Ballantyne Boulevard around 1045 last night. When they arrived, they found an adult male suffering from a gunshot wound. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Uh, we were still just friends. Um, I actually spoke to him last night, I guess probably about 830, which seemed to be about two hours before this happened. She says there was nothing out of the ordinary with her friend. Wasn't anything going on. He didn't mention, you know, any altercations he was having with anybody. So it was a shock to hear that two hours later he was dead. Neighbors in the area are also feeling effects from this incident. Some who have lived here for nearly 30 years say this street has always been peaceful. It makes me feel scared. We're really scared, very scared. He was definitely loved by a lot of people in the 757. Um, his children in Ohio, his, his oldest girls, he'll, he'll just definitely be missed. 